It's for Pisces, summer rising, and Venus signs. For Pisces, summer rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I do appreciate all my Pisces out here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. Hit that follow button. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. For my cross watchers, this energy can't be resonated. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Casey. What's going on, Pisces? We got a lot of Pisces in the house right now. Somebody could be 26, 25. Somebody could have a 14-year-old, maybe six. Somebody's dealing with a Gemini. Somebody's dealing with a Libra. Somebody's dealing with a Leo. If you're dealing with a Leo, this Leo has multiple options sexually. Be careful. You could be walking away from a Leo because you feel like this person has multiple options. Here's that confirmation. They might do. You know, take what energy resonates and leave what doesn't. For those of you that are dealing with a Libra, I think you're having that same issue. You know, some of you dealing with a Leo, you don't trust this Leo. You don't trust this Libra. I'm getting that's really hard for you right now. Somebody's dealing with an Aquarius. You feel like you're dealing with a snake. I don't understand why somebody could be 21. I'm saying there's a lot of forgiveness that needs to come into play. For those of my Pisces that are dealing with another Pisces, forgiveness is going to be a big thing for you. For those of my Pisces that are dealing with a Cancer, you're going to be finding something out about this Cancer. For those of you that are dealing with a Leo, something's going to be coming to light about a Leo or a Cancer. Somebody can have a 10-year-old. I do appreciate all my Pisces out here. Take what energy resonates, of course, and leave what doesn't for somebody else. For those of my Pisces that are dealing with a Virgo, I'm seeing a lot of sexual attraction, a lot of sexual chemistry. Somebody could be 23. Somebody could be 28. Somebody could have a three-year-old. For those of my Pisces that are dealing with a Taurus, there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction. A lot of you are trying to heal from a Taurus right now. A lot of you walked away from a Taurus because you felt like this Taurus was toxic or you felt like this Taurus didn't have your best interests. I am still doing five for five questions, but Pisces, um, the cash app is D-E-E-F-O-N-D-E-O. The email is derifidel at gmail.com. For those of you on YouTube, for those of you on TikTok, you can hit the inbox. Um, let's see. What's going on for Pisces? Pisces is wanting to know how this past lover is feeling about them right now, especially for those of you that are single. For some of you, this might not even be a past lover. This could be just someone that you're not really talking to at the moment for different reasons. This is general. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. We got a Virgo cross watcher. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo. We got a cancer cross watcher. Somebody could be dealing with a cancer. This could be how one of these signs are feeling about you. I'm afraid to contact you. So for a lot of my Pisces that are wondering why they haven't heard from someone, they're afraid to reach out. I want to tell you how I feel. I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, okay. It was my fault, but I blame you. That's really important for Pisces. Pisces, you took the blame because this person gaslighted you. This could be a Leo for some of you. Got a little bit of Leo energy here. You, this person gaslighted you and you took the blame for the situation. Maybe this is why you're feeling the way you're feeling. It's a lot of third-party energies going on right now. I look for you everywhere. For my Pisces that walked away from someone, this person is looking for your traits and your qualities and other people. You speak to me through music. For a lot of my Pisces, this is a song that you two used to love. Y'all used to listen to the song all the time. Now this person's playing this song all the time. You friend zone this person for some of you. This is general once again. So for some of you, you could have friend zoned this person. I want to be more than friends. This Pisces, um, Pisces, this person cannot take this. This is a Capricorn for some of you. You and I were too young. This is an Aries. I hope that one day you can forgive me. This person is well aware of what they did to you. Can they come back from it? I don't know. Because my Pisces is kind of, I'm not going to say you hold grudges, but once something is done, you can't unsee it. So I guess you can say that in a way for some of you. I bury myself in work to forget about you. Thank you, Taylor, and I appreciate that. I bury myself in work to forget about you. So for a lot of my Pisces that are wondering how is this person coping right now, they became a workaholic. They're working like hell. And I'm getting for some of you, when you was dealing with this person, it was like pulling teeth getting them to work. And now they can't stop. Your connection through books will cause you to eventually write a book. For a lot of my Pisces, you're going to be an author really soon. You're going to be writing a book. You're going to be telling your story. I'm getting that's a big thing for a lot of you. We got a New York Times bestseller coming in. That's going to be a big thing for a lot of my Pisces right now. Um, Pisces, your connection to crystals is really important. Somebody could be doing some crystal magic. I don't know if this is you. I don't know. Maybe you use it to heal. Maybe you use it for spiritual protection. For those of my Pisces that are wanting to further their career right now, the answers that you are seeking involve going to school. It's time to further your education, Pisces. Especially for those of you that are wanting to step into your prime. Okay, Mercedes, I see you. We got a lot of Pisces that are resonating right now. 
Your life purpose fully supports you. Hey, Rebecca, what's going on? We got sensitivity. Some of my Pisces are becoming a little bit more sensitive and you need to make some changes because you're going to be stepping into a big period in your life. So there's going to be a lot of critics and a lot of jealousy. Be careful. You got the strength to take it to the next level. Everything that you've experienced in your life, all those learning experiences have made you strong and courageous. So just keep pushing yourself. Thank you, Rebecca. I appreciate that. For those of my Pisces that are wanting to leave a job or wanting something new career-wise, thank you, Shorty. Consider the career options that are open to you. If you're ready to leave a job or you're ready to walk away, you're ready for something different, you're ready for a promotion, or you just want more money or just even want to take on another position, there's a lot of opportunities out there for you. Put your foot out there and see what's coming in next. Thank you, Kay. I know friends and family is important for you, especially for those of you that have kids. You want to make sure you're an active parent or an active auntie or an active uncle, whatever it is, active grandparent. But you also got to do what you need to do for yourself right now. I do appreciate all my Pisces. Thank you for tuning in.